Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So I am at Lexus of Bellevue, Washington, and I was pretty excited to see this, <laughs> admittedly. And, and you guys know why. I mean, this is the Lexus LX570 Inspiration Series. So this is that, you know, that it's mainly, it, I think it primarily is, the cosmetic uh, changes and upgrades, if you will. So you got the, the kind of like the bronze chrome front end here. You know, a lot more blacked out accents throughout. Obviously the black wheels here and a couple other things I'll show you here more in detail. But I wanted to, of course, do a walk around video. I do have the keys to it. We'll walk in, we'll hop in real quick and then I'll show you the extra swanky interior for fun. For those of you who watch this channel, I mean, you, you know exactly what this is. I mean, it is essentially, essentially the keyword there the same exact platform uh, as the Land Cruiser, right? It has a 5.7 liter V8 uh, that we have all come to come to love over the years, as well as, I mean, it's pretty much, it is a 200 series underneath all of it. So even the underneath the components, everything is nearly identical to the, to the, to the actual Land Cruiser there. Obviously you got different suspension, of course, on this. This is a, I think, an air ride suspension where you can you know, go up and down and kind of control your ride height. Whereas obviously that is not the case with the with the Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser is built to be beat up a little bit. Let me see if I can spot the tire size. So yeah, 275 50 21s. Let's get on here. There's that that pearlescent flake. I don't think it's the same. I don't think it is the same. Uh, Blizzard Pearl, I'm pretty sure it's not the same. It has a little bit more of a, a whitish hue to it, whereas the Blizzard Pearl is, as you guys know, as I meowed about plenty, does have a little bit more of a yellowish hue to it by comparison. I love, love this front end. I love that it has that darkened, blacked out accents within the center, the spindle grill, I think is what they call it. Um, of course, they got all their, you know, adaptive cruise control and stuff within the actual uh, emblem itself. I love the blacked out headlight housing. That looks sweet with the, the three LED lights there. Similar to the Heritage Edition, you get this blacked out, which is cool. Blacked out door handles. Got that. Side step here, running board integrated within it, of course. I do like the back end better. I like these taillights better. Um, I have grown to love and appreciate, I should ra rather, uh, the Land Cruiser's big bulky taillights, the big red bulky taillights. I've come to appreciate it, but this is a little bit more streamlined, easier on the eye, I think. Again, that's just, of course, personal preference on that. It looks pretty good and, and this is unique to the inspiration series so you get that all darkened out if, if i recall correctly i'm kind of going off of some old memory on this stuff here wasn't totally expecting to bump into this today of course you get all this again unique to the, uh, the inspiration series you get this all blacked out or darkened chrome which looks nice Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to know, you know how many folks would, would really lean this direction over a Land Cruiser. Yeah, obviously the Land Cruiser is gonna be more capable off-road and maybe a little less stress inducing, if you will, and, 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 and you know, like you're not gonna curb your wheels and stuff at the Land Cruiser. <laughs> and you know, there's something to be said about the simplicity, of course, of the Land Cruiser by comparison. This is flashy. You are screaming a little bit when you're driving this, especially with that big spindle front grille. I mean, people, everyone knows you're driving a Lexus, right? So it does scream in your face a bit. Like the Land Cruiser, you get the fuel cap on the right-hand side. That's a good representation of the paint, if, can, if it will pick up in camera. So this one is a certified pre-owned. I think it has 600 miles on it. So I mean, it's essentially brand new, of course. 
It is a 2021. They did not have the Inspiration Series in 2020. You do get the cool box in this one underneath here. I'll show you here in a sec. Whereas that was one of the things that they took away from the Heritage Edition. Whereas the standard, of course, 200 series does get it. We'll keep that open for light. There's your door there. Nice darkened wood trim there. Same you get within here. off-roading off controls, which I'd imagine is not a whole lot of folks off-roading these. You got that yeah, tight turn assist here, which tightens up or locks up your, your inward rear wheel as you're turning that direction. So if you're turning right, your, your uh, inner right rear, rear wheel, it's hard to say, it's a mouthful, will, will lock up and tighten while you're in like loose gravel, mud. It allows for a tighter turn, of course. Okay, multi-terrain select. Um, <clears throat> your rear, uh, your center diff lock there. Your electronic control transmission there. Kind of make for tighter shifts, or you know, faster shifts, if you will. Heating and cooled seats over there. Heated steering wheel, of course. Your crawl control. Yeah, your normal goodies there that you would find within any really TRD Pro or Land Cruiser, of course. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess, I don't know, maybe I just don't get it. This is a, uh, I guess, if you're into this stuff, if you're into luxury vehicles, that's a, a cool thing, I suppose. I never really got into watches or anything like that. Here's your steering wheel, which I think looks great. It feels great. Um, I love that, kind of like that matte gray uh, Lexus logo, that, that finish, I think it looks awesome. Here's your, your gauges there. And perhaps I should have jumped in on this side first. I'll, pop, I'll, I'll, I'll beep up around real quick and I'll fire it up for fun. And you do have a standard sunroof here. Same material, at least seemingly same material that you get within the uh, Land Cruiser itself. So I'm going to hop over to the other side real quick for you and fire it up. So here's the key, by the way, so you can have eyes on that. So again, I'm not sure if there's something under, yeah, probably a Lexus logo underneath that sticker here. But again, nothing to write home to mom about with this by any means. We'll hop in real quick. Same controls here. You get, of course, your, your lock and your unlock just by putting your hand in here, if you give it a second. I'll unlock for you. Standard stuff at this point. Let's hop in. Here's your door sill for fun. Sorry, I'm going to show a few more details in this one if anybody's shopping for one. But you're getting all the reliability of Toyota in this power plant within a very swanky, nice, plush interior. Let's look at this real quick, too. Here's their cool box, which I think is a it's a miss for them to have removed that for the Heritage Edition. I think it's, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Here's your start button. has a metal finish to it, which is really cool. Foot on a brake. Steering wheel came down. Seat's moving for me. And the last person who sat here is 5 nothing. <clears throat> Alright, so there's your, there's your display here. So 642 miles on this sucker. I wonder, yeah, I always kind of wonder what those stories look, then again, <laughs> look who's talking here. I was about to say, I always wonder what the stories of people driving them for 600 miles and then, you know, a vehicle like this and then trading it in or selling it. But then, well, we're not going to rehash my uh, track record, I suppose. <laughs> I'm the worst person to say that. Okay. Here you got this. This pops it over. This is pretty nice. I, I like it. Of course, I mean, very reminiscent, very similar to the Land Cruiser, because it's essentially the same thing. 
metal door handle. These are back seats, guys. So plenty of space back here, really. Then your some speakers there. You got the good old fashioned blind. Well, okay, try not to break it, jeez. Oh, it's side mounted, interesting. Okay, I didn't see that. Normally there's a little hook right here. Like for BMWs, you're like, we'll pop it up there. Whereas this has it on the side. So hashtag fail, untamed. But yeah, no, this looks great though. And I think it does have, yeah, it does have the third row seating. We'll pop back there too for fun. And then we'll wrap up the video with one more pan around. The same very slow opening, just like the Land Cruiser. And same release here, that pops it down. There you have it. There are your controls. Let's see if we can figure it out here. And then, oh, that's for that one. We're gonna keep that one up. There we go. Interesting, okay. And of course you get the actual recline there. Interesting. I don't know, I, I, I purposely got my two row because I think, man, you know, this just takes away so much space. But let me know what you guys think, if, if this is what you would prefer. You know, it, sure it's a third row, but it's super tight for your kiddos. All right, well, we can wrap up this video here. All right, we'll walk around front one more time and call it good. Let that guy leave. All right, team. Well, I hope some of you appreciate this video. Appreciate this video. Let me know what you think. Until next time.